Hello, Gold viewers from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwartz, licensed midwife and MC here at Gold. And today I'm chatting with Sonia Story. Welcome, Sonia. Welcome. Thank you, Kristen. Nice to see you. It's lovely to have you here today. And uh, Sonia, you will be presenting at our upcoming Early Years Symposium of 2022. Um, it's fantastic to have you here. And But before we get a little bit into the topic, first of all, tell our viewers a bit about yourself. Tell us about your background and your work. Yes, well, I've been doing this work since 2006, so for many years, and I have training mostly in neurodevelopmental movement, but my background from a long time ago was that I studied biology and psychology, but much mm -hmm. later in my life, I learned how important the innate movements of infancy are to our overall functioning. And um, it was so fascinating for me. And it was at a time and a place where I could go and get training from mentors. And I ended up going, uh, doing a lot of traveling and um, taking courses and um, got to learn from some of the best mentors in the world in this field and been happily using these tools and teaching these tools ever since. So I've taken over 50 courses in neurodevelopmental movement. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of training in other modalities like different body work modalities and touch for health. And um, it's just been a real joy. So Thanks for, huh. thanks for asking me about Look. it. I'm super excited to talk about it. And uh, we're excited that you're here. So tell me a little bit about what uh, are you, are you working with uh, infants strictly or older children, or is it a mix? So who do you serve? Who are the people you're seeing, the families you're seeing? Yeah. So I started out working with mostly school age children, mm -hmm. and then I did do work with infants all the way up through elder. And it turns out that these movements that, I mean, the main bulk of what we're doing is applying innate movements, meaning the movements that help us grow and develop at the very beginning of life. We're applying those um, in cases where the individual needs extra support. So if there are any parts of development that were missed or any parts of development that were challenged in some way, um, the movements are incredibly helpful and supportive. So right now, the bulk of my work is working with students who are taking my brain and sensory foundations curriculum. So I'm mostly supporting students, but I do see private clients also because um, I love that. And um, I'm always learning something new with that. <laughs> Great. So tell me a little about your programs you're teaching. Uh, you, you talked about your students there. Who, uh, who can take these programs and give us a little overview of what is in these programs? Sure. So anyone can take them. Um, they are designed for adults. Um, most of the adults who take them are working with children, but they really, because they're so deeply impactful for the nervous system, the movements work for all ages and all skill levels. So you can mm -hmm. apply them to infants. You can apply them to the entire age range. Um, we've had adults taking the course on their own to help themselves with trauma. Mm -hmm. And um, so anyone can take them. Um, mostly right now, I'm serving professionals and parents. And the professionals that are typically taking the course are occupational therapists, physical therapists, um, lactation consultants, um, mental health therapists, and um, sometimes vision therapists, sometimes health practitioners, and speech and language pathologists, um, sometimes social workers. Um, but it's been um, a joy for me because I've gotten to see how the work applies. Oh, we also have a lot of myofunctional, um, mm. oral myofunctional therapists who are really interested in it and finding it very helpful for their clients. So like I was saying, it's been a joy for me to see how this, this set of movements that are really um, our innate uh, birthright 
how they are supportive and helpful for so many different areas. And I think that they are fundamentally useful because our brain and body know what to do with them. Mm. So they're very geared toward maturing the brain, the body and the sensory systems. And they really help us relax our um, any kind of nervous system imbalance. Like if you're in a state of fight or flight a lot, or if you're in a state of freeze, um, they mm. really help us balance and nurture and mature the brain and the nervous system. And um, so that's what we do. And the, the program goes through a very comprehensive uh, set of infant movements and, um, and then some supporting tools as well. So we really are taking the magic of development because we know development is so incredible. Mm -hmm. um, we're taking the the magic of the development and applying it at different ages and stages for the purpose of optimal functioning. That's absolutely fascinating to me. Um, mm -hmm. What a wonderful concept. And and something you said earlier that really uh, was very interesting to me. You said if something was missed in the development and using the set of innate movements, they you can kind of make up for that. Did I understand that correctly? That you can you know, so if, if it was missed, you can still work with it and, uh, you know, develop it. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that is the thing that is so fascinating because our brains and our bodies recognize this movement. It's like a template yeah. and all human beings, no matter where they are in the world, will use this same template of movement mm -hmm. as long as they're not stressed, as long as they're healthy, and as long as they have room to move. Um, and we know that in during development, the brain grows the fastest at any time in life. Well, part of the reason it's doing that is because of these movements. It can't grow without them. Uh, it can't fully and optimally grow without them. And so the brain needs a lot of stimulation. The body needs a lot of stimulation, which is why we come with a whole range and repertoire of innate movements. But so if there is stress during the womb life or things like um, the mother having to be on bed rest, mm -hmm. so the baby's not getting as much stimulation, or if there's things like birth trauma, mm -hmm. then um, we can help with those things quite tremendously and the brain and the body really respond beautifully. And I think it's because they recognize inherently and innately the movement template that, mm -hmm. and then the brain and body just kind of takes over. They know what to do. So what I say is it's like giving the brain and body food. It's uh, truly nurturing and um, invigorating for the whole system. Oh, absolutely beautiful. It sounds so wonderful. I can't wait to learn more. And uh, Sonia, maybe, I mean, you've been doing this for such a long time and you've been uh, deep into research and and uh, you, you probably know so much, but if, to me, it feels like just more recently, we have been focusing on these innate movements. I feel like a few years back, nobody really, I mean, maybe besides you, <laughs> you know, have been talking so much about it. And now we see how important these are mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, how beneficial, what that not only beneficial, we need them and we need them to grow and develop. Have you seen this too, that there is now more focus on it or more understanding or what's going on here? There is more focus on it, which I'm so happy. Back <laughs> when I started, I would be so excited if someone called me. Like, so one time I had a parent call me and say, I think my son has a challenge with primitive reflexes. And I said, that is so good that you know about <laughs> these reflexes because, and it was so rare at the time, but now so many more parents know about it and it, um, the importance of these movements has been known for a long time, but what hasn't been known is that we can use the movements to um, help with functioning. Um, it has been applied um, in that way for children with really severe challenges like cerebral palsy, mm. but as far as children with things like 
sensory problems, ADHD, um, under functioning, um, problems with um, muscle tone and things like that. Yeah. Um, people are just more becoming aware that these movements play can play a huge role um, in those kinds of issues when there's poor balance or um, poor um, motor development, developmental delays, it's hugely important for that. Um, and then onward, it's hugely important for um, being able to manage our stress because a lot of the stress of young children comes from not having enough of these movements in infancy because it leaves their system in a state of fight or flight possibly or in a state of immature sensory capacity so that mm -hmm. when sensory input is coming in, it's, it's dysregulating instead of just being something easy and natural for the nervous system to handle. So hopefully that makes sense. Oh, it is absolutely fascinating. Last question before I let you go. Now with COVID-19, do you have a seen an increase in, in challenges in young children because maybe they didn't get enough movement or, or things were so different and times were so stressful? Um, do you see that? Have you seen I or do. Unfortunately, we're seeing um, a, a big increase in anxiety. So mm -hmm. this is quite sad to me to see children who should be out playing and mm -hmm. enjoying life to be um, much more anxious. And so I'm in the process now of trying to develop a program in my community for parents with some um, helpful tools so that they can help their children with spe um, anxiety specifically. Mm -hmm. Well, Sonia Story, thank you so much for sitting down here with me uh, talking about the wonderful work you're doing, shining light on the importance of innate movements and presenting with us here at Gold. Thank you so very much. Well, thank you, Kristen. I'm really excited to connect with everyone during the presentations. And now some information for our viewers. This presentation titled The Importance of Innate Infant Movements for Neurodevelopmental Challenges is part of the Gold Early Years Symposium of 2022. And uh, we have a two-day symposium here in September 26 and 27. This presentation will be live on September 27th. All presentations are live, but they're also recorded. So don't worry if you have uh, commitments or you feel like you cannot be there live. Everything is recorded so you can watch it at a time that's convenient for you. And of course, our presentations are accredited. So if you would like to find out more about Sonia's presentation and the other presentations in the symposium, we would like to invite you to go to goldlearning.com. And I hope to see everyone at the symposium. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, thanks.